Hey guys, I was invited to a Saunders electric bike um, test drive event about two weeks ago. They were showcasing their new Saunders Fold and Fold X bike. Basically, it's a you know bike they have with, along with their other bikes. It was located in Hermosa Beach. It was pretty awesome. It was a great day over there. Overall, the bike is pretty interesting. It's their first folding bike, and it has 20-inch wheels, as you can see, and 20-inch by 20 by 4-inch you know fat tires which has Nobby Nobby fat tires, as well as a hub drive in the back. Um, pretty standard, this one only has one single speed. Uh, there was a Fold and a Fold X. The Fold, and also with options of putting a seven speed Shimano gear, grip shift and and uh, seven speed um, gears on the back. It is pretty interesting in terms of um, the size. I have a 20 inch folding electric bike already, and I have also have other 20 inch folding bikes. Uh, that are much lighter. This bike is about 50 pounds. It has a 350 watt hub motor in the back and a 8.8 .8 milliamp 36 volt um, battery in the front. So their X model actually has a 48 volt um, amp hour battery and 500 watt hub in the back, uh, which is pretty pretty impressive in terms of uh, torque and speed. But it folds. It's pretty heavy at 50 something pounds or around 50 pounds, and it's heavy you know, for the size of it. Overall, for the test drive, we're gonna go out test drive really quick. I like how they wrap the wires around so it doesn't move anywhere. Um, the pedal assist does go up to five levels. It does have a power off, power on button in the center of the controls. Of course it has, you know, basically, you know, it goes pretty fast and you can actually hear like the motor you know, whirling in the back. Uh, pedal assist at f level 5 goes up to 20 miles per hour. The throttle on the side actually do, does uh, help too because most of the time you're geared up to the last gear or the gear, it's easier to use the throttle to move, get yourself started to get the balance in. But overall it's not bad. It's a pretty uh, nimble bike. The smaller wheels does help compared to the larger Saunders bike that I've test drove, like the Finn and the, um, their original Saunders bike. Uh, oops, car. But overall it's pretty interestingly stable for a bike. My knees do hit that wide uh, body frame that it has, um, but overall it's comfy. But like I said, there's something with that large body frame oh, that my lot. knees keep on hitting it. Yeah, so maybe good. if, um, it can't really be avoided because the, okay. the battery pack and Thanks everything made it, they made it so wide and okay. robust. It looks really strong, which is cool, but it is kind of thick. The throttle does help when you're starting off because it does quickly boost your bike so you can move it uh, because this bike is kind of heavy. Um, the controls on the side are pretty simple, just up and down for pedal assist and power in the center. Again, like I said, my knees do hit the center part of the Saunders bike because it's so wide. It's almost three and a half inches wide. Uh, the rear hub motor is pretty, you know, it's strong enough for this bike for 20 inch uh, wheels. And the battery's in the front section and the controller's probably in the back section. It's looking at this thing. Foot's okay, compact, not really compact. Um, probably need some bungee cords to hold everything down together. Uh, but it is about 50 pounds. This 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 guy is you know, pretty heavy, especially with the tires and the heavy you know, motor in the back. I did test over the other ones, like the Thin and also the original Saunders bike. Very, very powerful bikes. These are heavy too. They're over the 50 pound amount. I still don't know how you will lock these premium bikes, but I like the suspension. I like the other ones. Um, overall, these are great bikes um, in terms of you know, power and stuff, but they're limited to about 20 miles per hour. I love this yellow one. I saw that whoever owned this one or customized this one, you know, they put, you know, cute, you know, graphics on it. But overall, I like these bikes. They're kind of overly extreme for what I need to do for this commute. I just kind of like the simple bikes and simple folding light bikes. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I just figured I'd run it. Um, next week or in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and go and update my electric bike and change out the gearing for it from the cheap Shimano 7-speed um, to something much higher. Anyways, Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I'll be doing more bike fix videos as well as other you know upgrade videos and stuff like that. I also got uh, my own fat bike as well, and I bought this a while ago. I've been doing. I want to do some upgrades of that as well. Like, subscribe, please.